Northern Michigan, baitfish pushing shallow, big smallmouth chasing them, throwing an Alabama rig, catching biggins. That's what this video is all about. Let's get this thing. Good morning, everyone. It's day two. We're out here chasing Northern Michigan Giants. Jake is uh, up there live scope alone right now, but we just got out here. The sun is just coming up over the hills. There's no mapping. There's very little information about this place, but hopefully we're gonna be able to put one in the boat. Our goal, like I mentioned in the intro, of this two video series is to catch one over five. Yesterday we had one about four and a half, a couple other good ones. Had a pretty good day on the water, but we never really could find that mega giant fish that we were hoping for. Um, hopefully today will be the day. So I'm gonna get to fishing. I'll walk you guys through what's going on throughout the day. It's supposed to blow a little bit. Let's see if we can't make this thing happen. Let's go. <laughs> He's so fat, dude. Oh my god, dude, that doesn't even look like a smallmouth. Look at how fat that is. <laughs> dude, oh, there's got to be some maggots in here. <laughs> Look at that, dude. I got to get your pick. <laughs> I can't even, it's not even a bass. Hold on, let's put it on a measuring board. <laughs> it's like a two and a half pound sublegal fish. It literally looks like a rock bass. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. These fish are all in that mid depth, aren't they? That is not, that's not a big fish. I don't think he weighs as much as Jake's, but the way he bit that air was like insane. That was awesome. Dude, he smoked it so hard. Just it came above his head and just throttled it. I'm not shaking that bat over a two pounder ever, I don't think. Oh, there's one. I wish he would have waited on that because there's one right on this bait. Not that you know, but not that I knew. They're in that like 14, 15 foot range. Because that's where all the bait is. It doesn't surprise me. Like, I know this lake's tough. I think these fish get pressured, and it's not a hard lake, like, as far as where you're going to fish. Target. Nice fish. It's fun. Oh my god, dude. These fish are like feeding up on something, dude. What are you or a jerk bait? What's that? Or a jerk bait. Such fun with it. Wow, that was so cool. I can't tell. Yeah, pretty good one. 
Dude, that was so cool. <laughs> was it not just that the coolest? Yeah, I'm just gonna flip them. Thanks. Hit the target again. That was the coolest, dude. Thanks, fish. We haven't caught that five pounder yet, but one thing we figured out is that they're willing to bite an A-Rig. And this is no credit to myself, but you guys know that I'm not a huge A-Rig person. It's not something I dedicate a lot of time to, but my buddy Durds and Brent Houlihan, they figured out that when these fish get keyed in on really small bait and they're bait fish oriented, you can pick up an A-Rig with those small three inch swim baits and end up catching some really quality fish. And that's what we're doing today. These fish are kind of suspended up in the column. They're looking up, feeding up. And when you throw that A-Rig out there, it imitates that school of small bait fish. But it's something that I started to experiment with over the weekend and it's been really interesting to see how these fish react to it. So that's kind of the game plan for today. Keep that A-Rig locked in. These fish are very dialed in on what they're feeding on. So by putting the A-Rig in my hand, imitating those small bait fish and kind of keeping it above these bass, I'll show you guys the live scope in a bit, I'm able to get these fish to trigger on this bait, which is really awesome. So it's a lot of fun. Hopefully we're gonna run into a big one, but regardless, throwing that A-Rig doesn't get much better. Let's go. You are brave. Here <laughs> <laughs> you swing around. That's cool though. There you go. Alright. It might be the act. Did you come target these shallow ones yet? Uh-uh. trying to he jumped at me wow well shitty as that is at least now we know oh that was a good one i like didn't i don't like playing with them when they're on a rig like there's just too much that can go wrong yeah Jake's like prepared. Just swing the oh, hammer. Right. <laughs> it's like if they come straight up at it, you got more of a chance of catching it. Yeah, like that's a big dude. Oh, is that it? Yes, please. Dude, that's big, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's like not even 10 o'clock yet. Oh my god. I don't know if this is a bass or what. It's a bass. He's hooked funny. Four pounder. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Thanks, buddy. Oh my god, did he hit hard. Like that next one. And then just... It's like a linebacker lining up and tackle. It is, yes. That's about the best way I can think of it, right? Bobby Boucher out there yeah. getting ready to beat on him, you know? Tackling few. <laughs> <laughs> visualize and attack. I want you to visualize and then attack. Oh, that's funny. Got him. <laughs> Instant, he says. <laughs> and I says, he could reach him. That's a nice one. You just want to swing him, though? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> That's so cool. Dude, this is the best. This is the best. Yeah, let him come to it. I can't tell. Good one. We keep putting it right on their face. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. How big is that? Four pounder? Look how fat this one is, dude. So fat. Yeah, we just gotta let them eat it. You know what I mean? Like come up to it. Zeros. Three and a half. Three and a half pounder. Dude, that is a big one. It's all over in the net. Dude. <laughs> as soon as I hit, let it hit the water, it just started reeling. I think we just got to keep it up. Yeah. Don't even give them a look. Just keep it going. Yeah, because they're looking up it. Good work. So we're starting to figure things out. We're catching a couple fish on the rig. One of the biggest keys that we're noticing is that they have to be around isolated pieces of cover. So we're looking for isolated pieces of grass, isolated poles or pieces of wood sticking up in the water. And that's where a lot of these fish are hanging out. The other big key is obviously bait fish and keeping your bait on a horizontal plane coming through where the bait fish is. Now obviously having live scope makes it a lot easier so we're able to kind of present the bait more effectively, but it's just been really key with having those pieces of ingredient. Some piece of cover, the bait fish, and then keeping your bait just above where those bass are feeding and they'll come up and smash it. So it's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, we're going to see if we can't keep it rolling, have a couple more hours out here, head back to the house. Water clarity is like right for this. <laughs> Get him, I got him. Uh huh. Oh, dude, that's a good one. Look big when you boiled. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> he was not happy. Look how long that one is. That's the longest one of the day. You got three baits, two baits. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, this is a lot of fun. Thanks, fish. Wow, he was mad going back, too. Yeah, with a bunch of poles and a bunch of grass. Big. Oh my god, big. Wow. I don't know if I hooked him funny or he's a giant. That's one of the dangers of an Alabama rig. Yeah. He was decent. Not a giant, but decent. Honestly though, that Alabama rig lasted longer than I expected it to. <laughs> <laughs>